Welcome, folks. I think it's that time once again in which um, I share my thoughts and personal experiences to each and every one of you guys out there on YouTube. It is the Tenkaichi's Guy 2. Random stuff. But, um, yeah, really, I had a lot of things to talk about, and yet, for some odd apparent reason, the first time, in which I had 23 minutes going, and all got shot to hell because of somebody else. Anyway, having thrown all that away, I want to talk about, um, The one thing that I like to say we don't have much for time. So yes, this is episode two in which I do talk about time. Time is a precious commodity. We usually do not take everything for granted as we should. We always worry about what what might be and what's going to happen and you know you know paranoia and being skittish and everything else it is never a good thing to live in fear and why do i mention this because having fear and having depression and worrying about what others might say or what they think it's it, it, it pretty much wastes time and energy because you could be doing something with your time and your energy. And as I mentioned before, you know, it is a precious commodity. Time is indeed a precious commodity. I take a look at my life and for the 33 years that I've seen my life and ex actually experienced what I had done in my life, I could say I'm pretty, I'm pretty blessed. I feel pretty blessed. I mean, I've, I've been from a straight A student as a child to say, to say, I've done other things with my time and energy. And one of the main things that I've done was growing up, I had taken, taken my dreams to flight. And what that means is I've actually gone and achieved my life's dream of going to Japan. Even though I stayed there for a year and I've done things that probably no other person could possibly do, you know, I feel I've done what I need to do. Namely, I've gone to Japan, I've actually been to Tokyo. Roplongi and yet never got the chance to go to Akibahara. And yet I've learned how to actually enhance my language. And I do mean I my language is quite enhanced because if you would hear in some of my let's plays that I speak some part of Japanese I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, like I said, it's pretty good. Considering that I don't speak as much Japanese as I usually do. But, um, here's the thing. With all that I've been doing in my life, I mean, I've been to Japan, came back, became a teacher, and I hear footsteps. Anyway, um, yeah. I became a Japanese teacher as soon as I got back from Japan. 
I also worked on a book in which in which is now in is now being sold on Amazon.com and um, it's on the website as well and as and also in Barnes Noble so that's basically something I can be pretty proud of there are a lot of things that I can mention but you know it's hard to say because at least in my house I think it's hard to say it because most people are some people they are very in a word how should I say this they are in a word just you know steamrollers that's how I like to call it I, I call it steamrolling because basically you know there's really a chance in which I like to say and speak my mind. And whenever I do try to speak my mind, you know, it's all in a way of paranoia. Like, I'm going to say something nasty or dirty or something like that. I do not try to do anything like that. I don't speak ill of my family. I just only wish they would chill out. Or at least leave, leave me to my thoughts whenever I'm doing something like this. I don't usually do something like this because of said issue. And aside from that, what I'm doing is basically saying what I feel. I never waste time with what I do. Like my LPs, my books, whatever it is that I do, I do not waste time. Even when I'm playing a game, I do not waste my time. I actually put the time to actually do at least like say two to mainly three hours worth of game time I don't try to do anything else other than to try to get as far as I can and I'm not and I'm not trying to LP it or anything like that I'm just basically you know getting my casual game time down these days I haven't been able to do so because um Every time I get up, I have to go somewhere. I don't see the point of me getting up and going somewhere. Sometimes I do not want to go anywhere. And yet, it's it's something like that that kind of takes my time away from what I'm doing. Like, like, say I want to do parts of a game. I can't even do that because the first thing that, the first thing that happens is, boom, get up. I had to get up and um, slap my clothes on, and the first thing I hear is, um, I don't hear good morning, I don't hear uh, how'd you sleep, uh, I don't even hear, I, I, I really don't hear that, I mean, if you come to you come to my house, or if you ever, oh yeah, let me, um, let me try to put a scenario in place, just, just a day in my life. I do videos until like um from the time that we all leave which is around no midnight. I start up my videos around I start up my midnight session. I mean my my recording session around midnight or so or hopefully sooner depending on what time we all break and what time we just you know all say oh well we're going to do this oh we're going to do that we're going to Check for about, say, from one from one a.m. Let's say from eight p.m. to one p.m. We're all chatting. That's the time I spend. And like I said, I'm chatting with um, my buddies at RCO, and um, then there's my girlfriend who can only like, who can only show up like around oh maybe. 10 p.m. at night, we talk for like maybe 20, well, maybe not 20, maybe for 10 or 20 minutes. That being the case, we're just playing catch up with each other, that's all, we're just playing catch up. You know, we're just saying, how are you doing on all that? Other than that, you know, she's in college now, so I'm just not really worried about her. And all I say is, well, you know, keep doing what you're doing, you'll do fine. And I got an email from
from um, Twitch. Saying so, you know, a stream is on. I don't really care. <sighs> really, I don't. Because <laughs> when this is done, I'm going to be, I'm going to upload this thing and go to bed. But aside from what I've been trying to say, you know, in my life, I try not to, not to let too many people try to take my time away from me. Because whenever the house is really quiet, I try to take advantage of that as much as I can. Because of what does happen within like a few short hours, like a routine day in which they're going out. They might be gone the whole day. And since my cousin is back in town, that means she's going to start bugging me about her stuff and God knows what else and of course you know other things that happen in my life if I mean the house life is hectic so that's why if for some odd apparent reason I try to get out that's what I want to do I want to get out just to, just to not hear any part of them I mean even though I don't have my phone now because my phone is kind of down and everything. But, I mean, aside from that, when they leave, that's the time I usually do. And that's the time I usually take to make as many recordings as I can. I mean, if I could do, like, three or four, I said maybe do three or four early. And all I have to do later is just upload them. You know, I I've got it. I got it nailed down. I mean, I, I I have it down to a science. That's that that's my scheduling. Cause I have to make whatever recordings that I can make. I have to take whatever time I can do. So I mean, for some people they work, and then they come home and they feel like they need to do an LP. They need to do parts. They do one part. Some people do one part. That may that may be eighteen to twenty five minutes long. Some people they do eight part you know eight the parts that go like eight to ten minutes long or whatever. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, for those who actually work their tails off, my God. I mean, you des you deserve it. You deserve it. But I mean, sometimes in my life, in which it does become hectic because we're all working, because, well, I shouldn't say we're all working. Well, I guess we can say we are all working. I'm working to get, a, I'm, I'm working to get games done. I'm also working to actually beat, beat, um, uh, beat my time to August. So basically, if I'm trying to speed run through a game, yes, there is a reason. Every time I'm doing that, I'm speeding toward my break. Because when my break shows up, and when it shows up, I'm just going to have the most greatest time of relaxing because I don't really have to do much. I mean, there still will be RCO chat and all, but there will not be any video games when, you know, when August comes rolling around, I won't be doing any Let's Plays. I'm just going to take a break from the Let's Play. I'm just going to take a break from the circuit and, you know, just take it easy. Catch up on my work and some quality reading. Because that's what I do sometimes. I actually read, you know, manga. Yes, I actually read manga. And, um, I usually like to come online, pop a good movie into my disk drive, sit back and enjoy. Or, you know, a good a good series now and then. Or maybe just, you know, just play a video game. Just be playing it. Not not to be, you know, making it as a let's play or anything like that. You know, that means, oh, requests? Hmm. Requests would just be like, okay, I'm going to set that one down. I'm going to set all requests down. And just say, okay, 
when I come back, I'll just do this. I'll do such and such and such and such. Whatever works, that's what I'm going for. Aside from that, trying to utilize the time that you're given, that's, that's the tricky part. I mean, that's the one thing that most people just don't seem to get. When you try to utilize the time that you have, it does become a problem. I know certain male peers, they would take it they would take their time off from doing something hectic. Like say Mega Man Battle Network. <coughs> Excuse me. I would take a break off doing one, two, three, four games, maybe five games all in one sitting. I mean after I finish one game I take, I take the following couple of nights off. If I finish another game, I take an, another batch of nights off. Finish another game, I do the same thing. It's it's just a cycle. After I finish, after I finish a game, I take a break. Then decide, okay, I'll come back to it. I'll come back to game number two, in which I'm doing this, and then game number three, I'm doing this, and game number four, and whatever. But then you know, I mean. For what we all do here on YouTube, whether we're doing this for entertainment purposes or basically, you know, you know, just to get a good laugh out and just say we're doing it just to be doing it, whether we add people into our little issues and not, uh, you know, whether we add people into what we do, that's always a good thing. I mean, I add people in my in my RPG sometimes because you know they deserve to be they deserve to have their little five minutes of fame or fifteen minutes of fame or thirty minutes of fame, however long it takes. But um, yeah, I like to you know give Trey work credit to. It's the same thing when working on a book. Working on a book is is just as much time consuming as trying to publish it, because when you actually make the book, it takes a while for you to finish it. It takes it took me like like a couple of months just to make one book, and then after that, I made another book, and I didn't even realize I made another book, and so forth and so forth and so forth and I'm making like seven books so mind you yeah doing seven books with totally different characters in the main story arc that's a big thing that that's that's a serious undertaking I mean I'm pretty sure that Shotaro Shinomori uh, Osama Tezuka William Shakespeare, they, I mean, all the greats, and yes, I, I'm talking about Japanese and, and E. Old English. I'm pretty sure that Steve Ditko and Stanley probably had one hell of a time trying to figure out what's a good, what's a good superhero. I mean, it just didn't come to them, you know. Well, it, pro it probably did, but, you know, just, just how to make it, you know, that, that that takes time. That takes consideration. But the same thing, you know, it takes a lot. I mean, for I mean, for us out there, like I said, we don't really utilize our time as best we could. We try, but you know, as much as we could, we're just trying to do something. We're trying to actually make our time worthwhile. So within it all. You know, that's what it's really all about. You should really just utilize the time that you have. And, you know, not worry about it. You know, not worry about what are people going to say. What are they doing and everything like that, you know. You know, all the all the little stuff. All the little stuff that... All the little stuff... I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, I was mentioning, you know, t 
time when you worry about little stuff. When you worry about the little stuff, it really takes a lot from you. I mean, it really does. It kind of takes away from what you're supposed to be doing. Like, what I'm supposed to be doing is, in Trump. I'm supposed to be asleep, but I'm not asleep. I got a lot to say, you know. And I really don't have the time to say the stuff I'd like to say. Because usually people like to, at least in my house, they like to want to just interrupt me while I'm actually on a roll. And just like that little pause there. Yeah. I could tell you, I could tell you one thing, the recording before this one, which was much worse because I basically hit the wrong button, the wrong pause button which I should have hit F11 instead of F8. And you heard, and, and what you might have heard if I had uploaded it was a lot of screaming and yelling. Just because one person could leave me alone with my thoughts for 25 minutes. Just at least for 25 minutes. Because people think I'm talking about them, not really talking about them. It's like this. I mentioned about time and circumstance. I mentioned about the fact that most people worry too much about what other people are going to say. And I'm not saying names. But you know what I'm talking about. The one thing you shouldn't worry about is, uh, you know, what, you know, how you're saying this, how you're explaining things. Don't try to worry about that. You do the best you can. And I mean this to anybody, I mean, anybody who didn't have a voice now, up until now, because they were scared or frightened, you got a voice. You ought to use it. I mean, it's just as simple. You know, I rather, I rather just say, look, you want to do something about it, please do something about it. I mean, you know, you should have your own back, you know, have your, you know, straighten out your spine. Just forget about what is, you know, about the who and the what. Just go ahead and do it. I mean, if it makes you feel better, I say do it. You shouldn't feel so ashamed about doing what you enjoy. Because I sure as hell don't feel ashamed about what I what I enjoy doing. And that is to enlighten those who feel they need some enlightenment. To awaken those who aren't aware that there are some games that haven't been seen the light of day. And aside from that, there are those who just need to be told, hey, it's okay, just be yourself, don't worry about it. I mean, we're all weird in this crazy world. Some of us just need to accept that weirdness. A part of us that makes us unique and special. That makes us that that part of us that makes us extraordinary among other people who consider us not normal. I mean, although I have my silly side sometimes, I can be very serious. Just like now. I'm very serious about what I'm talking about, about living, about making time for yourself, about doing something with your time, not worrying about what anybody else is saying, about what you should do with your time and energy, what you do with your business, that's on you. So with that, I think I have spoken my piece about that one area in time 
that we all need to take care of, which is our own. So with that, I have been the Tenkaichi of gaming, Ichigo Musko. And I wish you all a very good day, and Godspeed and God bless. Take care, everyone.